Greetings and salutations. My name is the one who is Lemons, and we are about to embark on a journey. This is going to be a playthrough of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, uh, the PlayStation 2 version of the game. Now, full disclosure, I'm more familiar with the PC version. I tried to track it down to no avail. I was not able to uh, secure one that is functional on my modern PC, but the PS2 version supposedly is very different because back then they they, they did this is weird thing with tying games, uh, where they released the different versions for different platforms. I mean, you, you understand why the Game Boy Advance version is gonna be different, obviously, but. Uh, I guess PlayStation and PC, they have completely different games too. So this is going to be one of those weird half-blind playthroughs where I know the story very, very well and I have played through another version of the same game, but I have not played this exact game. Let's just dive into it. EA Games Challenge so obviously Harry Potter, this is a very old game. Harry Potter is an old story by now. The last book came out over a, a decade ago. The last movie came out in 2011 or something. You should know the story by now, so I will not hold back on spoilers for future, future as in the first uh, book. There was nothing about the starry yeah, sky this. that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things I really like that they it has cutscenes compared to the PC version which is just a slideshow Hagrid at last and where did you get that motorbike borrowed it professor dumbledore sir no problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. That's a really bloody scar. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia. This is a Vernon little bit of a mistake. He actually Jackie, lived there 10 years. The Dursleys. Then, one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Ah, <sighs> if only it was that easy. He actually received like a thousand letters or something. Yep, subtitles is on. We're good to go. Alright, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This, this is it. No stopping it now. I played maybe an hour into it. I saved the game. I thought I would continue another time, but because I'm using the emulator, I guess it didn't save. Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. I had to use an emulator. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. You know, the, it has what some pretty good voice acting. What sort of magic you teach, Professor Quirrell? Did you defense against the dark arts? Not that you need it, eh, Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. This part is not in the PC version. Up to a cross. Right. Stand back, Harry. Yeah, Harry's getting his mind blown. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Which, Oliver. Which, I guess we're not gonna oh, be yeah, seeing I the entire picture of Diagon person. Alley. Just this part. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Of well, course, nice everyone knows that. Potter. Let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Ah, 
Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up and let's see if it likes you. What if I don't like it? So really when you come to this shop, you, you don't get the truth. You, the customer, just has to take it as it goes. This is the task screen, which tells you what to do. Oh, I forgot. I had to do this the last time too. I need to uh, reverse the camera control because the reverse control is actually the normal way of controlling now. Let's see what this uh, what this is. Ebony and unicorn hair, hmm. eight and a half inches, springy. Cool. Let's try it out. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. Okay. Oops, sorry, Goodness. my mistake. Definitely not. No, actually, I'll take this one. I like the effects. What about the? Oh, they, they're reshuffling again. Holly and Phoenix mm. feather. 11 inches. Nice and supple. Ooh. Nope. This one sucks. Let me see what this is. Ebony and unicorn. We already tried this one. Eight and a half inches. Springy. Tell me Beach about this. Wooden dragon heart string. I'll take it. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. I have a good feeling about this. Actually, I just want to wreck some shit. Definitely not. Oh, I want to try a hundred more. Ebony and unicorn hair. Eight and a half. Holly and Phoenix yeah. feather. You're a seasoned Harry Potter fan as I am. You know, nice and from the beginning, this is the one. But I just want to wreck some shit at his shop. You, you'll see why. Yay! I'm on the top of the world! Curious. How very curious. Sorry. But what's curious? I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand and its brother. Why its brother gave you that scar? Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes, but great. God, he talks so slowly. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. So, yeah, this is why I wanted to rack his shit up. Because instead of just uh, giving us the wand and let Over go, here, we had to complete a challenge to learn a spell. Right here at his shop. This is fucking insane. Uh, I was gonna say I didn't want to interrupt the cutscene. It's curious how the game picks these certain scenes to recreate. Oh, these are birdie butts mm, every flavor beans. Ugh. They are the currency. Spinach flavor. They're the currency uh, at Hogwarts. We're gonna be using them to buy stuff. Kind of like how you 
uh, use cigarettes as currency in prison. I don't know why I keep thinking of that. This that, that's nothing like using beans at a school. So jumping in this game is automatic. Oh, mm, you can also realign camera if you really need to. Uh, wait, which is the real life? This one. I don't know if we can search anything yet. We don't have any magic powers yet. I mean, we do. We don't know any spells. We're gonna learn our first one. This is just a platform stage. Over here, Mr. Potter. Shit. The thing is, because the jumping is automatic, you th you would think that the game is uh, making things easy for you, but it's not. You have less control of what happens, so it's uh, kind of annoying. Also, if I don't, if I don't, vomit flavor. If I don't fail at least once, I will never get these extra beans. So I guess the game is rewarding for my failure, rewarding me for my failure. Or rather, since it's automatic, it's compensating me for its own failure. Okay. Ugh, Harry's making comments about all these flavors Speed of beans he's picked up. Flavor. That's going to get annoying really fast. Plus, it. Yuck! Oh, grass flavor. Okay. I don't know why it's slowing down a little bit. By the way, I, I wonder, I wonder why he knows what flavor th these are. The, he's not really eating them. He's keeping them for mm, if he uses mm, currency later. Curry. If he's ate them, they won't be worth anything. Mm, maybe he mm, just uh, oh, maybe he just licks bogey. each each one of them once and then give it to Fred and George, who will be who will be the vendor in this game. Or uh, am I gonna make that jump? It stop. Whoa, <coughs> Harry, my boy, Ugh. you are a gymnast. Oh, bogey. Oh my God. I know kung fu. Oh, bravo! Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. So this is really interesting. You can assign the magic spells you learn to uh, different buttons. A lot of RPGs have this system. I did not expect <coughs> this in a Harry Potter game. Well, I'm gonna assign this one to square. If you'd kindly follow me. But that's not it yet. We still, we still have to practice the spell. Olive Wonder is very demanding. Wand maker. He demands all his customers to not only get a wand, but take the first step in magic too. I guess he's feeling really responsible for these kids. I wonder if I Harry doesn't learn this spell on the spot, will he just take the wand back? I gotta protect my reputation. I will not sell my things to someone who can't do it properly. Revolting! Vomit flavor! So we can search the shelves like a good old RPG. This just takes too long. Yuck! Grass flavor! Revolting! Vomit flavor! Oh boy. Mmm! Coconut! Apparently he just oh. wanted us to mm. smash his pots. Mm. Peppermint! But we can also search the shelves. Why does he have so many beans in, in his, Revolting. I don't know, wand shelves? Vomit I'm assuming these are wands. The public candy bars for all I care. Mmm, marmalade. Is 
There's a button uh, on the wall. The game just auto uh, auto aims at it, so don't have to worry too much. These transitional animations, man, they're gonna get old real fast. Now it's you and me now, boy. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped oh. using your flippendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Okay, I'm gonna flip some shit, okay? So this is where it teaches you how to aim at things. So I have to... Uh, correct order would be... I uh, would be up there, I think. Sun first. Um, it's, the control is really clunky. The moon first. Now it teaches me how to switch targets. I'm almost done. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio bruti. Hmm. Okay, what is the folio brutai? This is the folio brutai, the book of beasts. I thought that was fantastic beasts and where to find them. This book shows the name and appearance of each beast you may encounter in your adventures. The folio brutai will teach you their strengths and weaknesses. Oh, and, and it's teaching me about an imp. I guess I'm gonna. I'm about to meet an imp then. The imp is sometimes confused with a pixie. They are of a similar height and both have a slapstick sense of humor. Imps are vicious little creatures. You will need to use flapendo to knock them back before picking them and throwing them into a hole like a gnome or into an open cage. Right. Oh, guess who just came into the picture? Right after we read about them. How convenient. These imps can be a nuisance. Try knocking them over with flapendo. Then pick them up and lock them in the cages. Oh, oh my god, I did not have a chance against this little guy. So we pick them up, throw them in the cage. I guess Ollivander normally just keeps these imps if up around just me. to torture them. Make them practice targets for new customers. Otherwise they're just locked in a cage. Wow, this, somebody called PETA. Oh my god, am I done yet, Mr. Ollivander? Jeez. Help! 911, I'm held here against my will by an adult. A creepy old man. To learn how to cast a spell while moving. He claims to be you selling me magic wands. On this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember this. So we already have a remember. This part I've already played through so we shouldn't have any problem with it. We need to keep hitting it. Try and keep up, Mr. Potter. You must keep the shield target. Yeah, but the camera is not our friend in this in this regard. Well done, Mr. Potter. Oh, another book. Gee, Mr. Holy Wonder, you have some nice books here. Can I have some more? Um, okay. With the knowledge contained in I'm sorry, book, I ate your book, okay? We'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book just for you. 
Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot Ow. of trouble. So... Okay, here we go again. This time, I'd like you to power up the Flipendo spell before casting it. Like this. Flipendo! I think he missed it. This, this thing is rigged. Flipendo! Oh yeah. Flipendo! Man. Flipendo! Oh, we're feeling this. It really takes a good amount of timing. Dependo! Dependo! Oh, Dependo! God, are you kidding me? Okay, we did done it. Didn't do too well, but we did it. Well done. May Mr. I leave Potter. now? Oh. Harry makes everything disappear. There are 101 wizard cards to be collected and traded. Increase your stamina bar by filling pages in your folio magi. So they actually serve a purpose in game. They keep increase Godric stamina. Gryffindor. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. If you'd kindly follow me. Mm-hmm. What what other choice do I have? Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's beautiful. Aww. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig. And she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. I guess I don't. What do you mean, leaving very soon? <laughs> Are we cutting that close? The train slowed right down and finally stopped. They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once gliding across the lake, which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Ooh. Ooh. Wicked! One by one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. Hey, Harry. Hello. I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. Cut right to the chase. We've got to follow that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. That prefect's Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My <laughs> name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, um, Ron, your future Ron husband. Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. Huh? You must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming. We'd better go. They're fucking conditioned to fear Filch. By the way, it's still curious how they just choose some of these special scenes, specific scenes to recreate pretty faithfully, but ignore lots of the overall context. Like, there's never been a, a scene where Hagrid explains the Gryffindor's whole background with Voldemort. Follow me, please. Keep up. Come on, Harry. We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Fuck you, I'm not following anybody. This is I'm at Hogwarts for the first time I'm gonna explore. So these four hourglasses they
keep up with the house point. The house point system is so rigged. This is the broom cupboard. I think we'll be using that soon. I'm guessing this is the dungeons. Yes. And what else do we have? Everything is going to be closed here. Filch's office better stay locked. No indication as to what that is. If you're wondering if we can attack other students, we can. They just go through them. Um, the Great Hall. I think the banquet was supposed to be in there. Portrait room. It's funny they have a portrait room so close to the entrance. And kitchens. Oh, there's actually a door for kitchens. That's different from the novel, right? We're not gonna be able to go to the kitchens, will we? Harry's not supposed to know about house elves yet. Like, as I was saying, there's no scene uh, where... I must go to the common room. No, you don't have to. Uh, there's no scene where Hagrid tells Harry all the story about how Voldemort killed his parents, how he survived, why he has a lightning-shaped scar. All these very important spots are just skipped in the game version. Uh, that's okay though, because no, I don't think anybody really expects to play the game to know about the plot of Harry Potter. But it's still curious why they chose to recreate some of the other scenes so so uh, faithfully. Like the well, the, all the ones that they actually did are they had some very unnecessary details. I mean, unnecessary in the context of the whole story. But since they're not going to be paid off in the other games anyway. I mean, it's just, it's just weird. This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. That's what I like about Come on, it. Harry. Get to the common room. Hello, Harry. I'm so glad I got sourced into Gryffindor like my brothers. Um, mine is Bossy from day one. You know why did Ron get sorted into, Hulk, into Gryffindor? He's obviously brave, but... I think maybe he just asked for it because the sorting head does take your advice into consideration. Pretty much he lets you choose. And Ron's probably going to choose to ask for Gryffindor directly because he's afraid of what his family might say if he's not here. Ron faces a lot Keep of up, family please, pressure. And follow me. Quickly now, come on. Obviously, you're all following me. How did I lose a bit of health? When did that happen? <laughs> Follow me everyone, keep up. Oh no, the portraits are not moving if you're wondering, which is a shame, but I understand it's gotta be difficult to oh. mm. Mm. coconut. <laughs> We're just gonna Rim. smash up the school. Vomit flavor! Oh there's a chest. Uh oh. Do you really need to dive that deep? A wizard card! Who do we have this time? Cassandra Vablaski. Cassandra Vablaski. Celebrated the seer and the author of Unfogging the Future. Unfogging the Future. I think that's uh, Cassandra. Why are all seers named Cassandra? Um, Is this the... Author is unfolding the the future of the book where Harry had to buy for his third year when he took up divination. He must regret his third year choices. Uh, like divination and care of magical creatures, really, Harry. This, these are really poor electives. Mostly Keep because up, of the teacher that Dumbledore chose now, come for on. Him. I'm sorry, I love Hagrid, but he is a poor teacher. Peeves, a poltergeist. <laughs> sure, the school is haunted, why not? Ooh, Hickle Firsties, what fun! <laughs> Go away, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. Uh, bye, Peeves. You See you in the movies. Oh, wait. Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. 
the bloody baron. I yeah, never, never thought about this, but when people say the bloody baron, you would think, you wouldn't think his name is literally the bloody baron. You would think he's a baron, and the people is cursing him. Keep up, please, and follow me quickly now. Oh, come on. Oh, sixth floor ancient ruins. Did it say what each floor is? No magical studies. You have a whole floor for no magical studies. History of magic. Well, that's boring. Defense against the dark arts. This is where all the good shit happens. Hey, thank you, stairs. Second floor charms and library. It's the first floor. Transfiguration. Got it. But third floor isn't it like forbidden? At least there's a corridor that's forbidden. Please, could you come back stairs? I really need you. Thank you. What are you doing up there? Sixth floor is ancient ruins. Well, nobody's gonna be learning no ancient ruins. What is this? Arithmancy and the Gryffindor Tower. Well, we'll only be using the Gryffindor Tower for this year. Actually, Harry's never gonna learn Arithmancy. Nobody likes math except Hermione. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. Which is why we're going the other way. This is classroom 7C. Uh, 7B. Who cares? Arithmancy. Not gonna be learning that. What does this mean? We're gonna be learning some. S this is probably go. We're gonna probably gonna be learning Alohomora spell and use it on this symbol. That's just my guess. Don't know what that is. Gather round here. Password. You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. <laughs> well you done. Need the correct you just password. repeated exactly right the uh, the thing that he told you a second ago. You are so Thanks, smart. Harry. This is why you get to go to the big school. Oh, and I just left Harry hanging outside. That that is not cool, man. Password. Caput Draconis. I wonder if this is actually necessary. Hey, Harry! Fred and Joe just set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow! I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. He'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. Yeah, that's a no. This is basically as far as I got uh, during my recent previous playthrough, I should say. Mm -mm, marmalade. And a wizard card. What do we have? Aldobert Waffling, famous Adelbert magician, Waffling. magical theoretician. 1899 to 1980. Yeah, not gonna listen to him the whole way. You'd think this vase is breakable, but it's not. You really should go and see Fred and George. All right, all right. The, this part I failed multiple trade. times last time, so we're gonna see if I do better here. To sneak press forward gently, I can try, but like this part is really weird. So, oh shit, I shouldn't run too fast. Percy is there. He's doesn't like this stir being disturbed. If he uh, if he finds he, if he finds Harry out, he's literally going to attack him. Fucking hell! I can't really r rotate my camera yet either. So we can't. Oh shit! You see, his movement is very erratic, which makes this part very unfairly difficult. If he sees Harry, I'm just gonna have to dash for it. With our. Uh. Okay. Where the hell are you going? Whoa. 
Hey. Hey. Okay. Come here. Okay. Good. 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 Oh no. Uh, I can't say password anymore. I'm caught. So basically, he uh, attacks us, and we are thrown out of the room. Nice. The thing is, the th the difficult thing about this part is his movement is very erratic, and he he doesn't miss his spell either. So you can't ex you can step between the bookshelf and and him, so the spell will hit the bookshelf and doesn't affect you, but. As long as he has a direct line of sight with Harry, he's going to hit the target. And his movement is just completely fucking random. Come here. Might as well make him run for it. Now get Locomotor Mortis! I must be hearing things. What the hell? I hate him. Hey! Oh come on! Hey! Oh, he forgot about Locomotor me. Mortis. No! Why did you stick to the wall? Come here. Screw you. Say Kate password. Snout. Say password. Here we go. There we go. Just rush past the level. That is the best idea. Wait. Nothing's happening. Okay, game. You better be getting a grip on yourself. Percy, a little help here. Are you fucking kidding me? Snout. And you can't rotate the camera, I guess we can see him like this. Just doesn't help, he goes all over the place. Hey! Crap. Hey! Oh! Pig snout. <laughs> the portrait is open for some reason. Hello, Harry. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome what? to our shop. Can Feel you like free to browse our extensive range of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. Bertie bots every flavor beans. Of course. What else could it be? And, as a special bonus, for just 10 beans you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow! I've got to try this! It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. So I have 48 beans. Okay, How much is the Edgar Strulger card? It'll cost 30 beans. Nope. The limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? It'll cost 50 beans. Don't have that. How much is this Bertie Bot bean carrying bag? It'll cost 50 beans. That I really don't want. But it only has like... I only have 48. A long day. I'm really tired. And I'm off to bed. Uh, you go on. I'll join you later. Of course there's something to smash. Oh I should have got these beans Curry. first and then and then uh, buy that 50 bean worth of uh, carrying bag whatever. Miscalculate. This is why we need to take up Aerith Messi. The hell is Aerith Messi anyways? Lauren's waiting up. You have completed all your tasks for one day. You will be given the option to end day. You remember, at this point, you can continue to explore the world, or you can decide to end day and night, and the next day's adventure can then begin. That's like an RTS. Um, end night.